Jordan joining us live from Fig Securities. Jonathan, we're seeing markets doing very, very well. Bonds also rallying and a lot of that is looking ahead tonight. Investors are waiting to see if the ECB makes any changes to its uh, bond buying program. Good afternoon, Leanne. Yeah, absolutely right. Uh, the expectations came out of Europe last night uh, with a, the assumption that the ECB would announce some extension to their QE program, either uh, extending the range of corporate bonds that they would buy or extending the time period that they would be buying the existing bonds for. And so we saw, as you said, everything basically rallying and, and we've seen um, the bond market here come off the back of that. So we're down about five points in the 10 year. Um, although the short end of the curve is down about one point, so we've seen the curve flattening as well. With regards to issuance, um, are we seeing a bit of a winding down in, the, in that area as we head into Christmas? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the US is being a bit quiet now for the last bit of December. Obviously, we've got the Fed meeting coming up where it's 100% priced in that they'll lift the base rate. And uh, I think people just looking to get the last few deals away before Christmas to cap off uh, another huge year. We'll have seen 1.6 trillion US dollars issued in 2016, which is an 8% increase on 2015. That's wow, that's incredible. Um, let's take a look at, at local bonds. Um, we obviously have been watching a lot of this data, in particular that really poor GDP figure yesterday. Trade balance uh, deficit widening there today. Um, how is this being filtered or, or being reflected in the, in the bond market? Yeah, effectively no impact at all. I mean, we saw the currency just sort of shrug it off yesterday as well. Um, I think there's a, an expectation that, uh, you know, we're seeing huge supply and particularly iron ore and coal and those prices have, have rallied quite a long way. So it was interesting for me that uh, GDP, which is obviously production and not income, was, was down. And so I can only presume that, that the income side of things is, is heavily up to support the currency on the basis that the RBA won't be cutting. Um, but, you know, there are still things going on that uh, aren't related to those macro figures and we saw a good high yield issuance from NRW Holdings yesterday doing a 70 million transaction that closed over subscribed in one day. Mm, yeah, I'm just watching that actually at the moment up 5.5% NRW Holdings. Anything else that you've been uh, keeping an eye on in terms of uh, some of that e those issuances? Oh, look, there's, there's plenty of RMBS that's been coming out recently. We're trading it in the secondary market as well. Um, we saw ANZ come back to the RMBS market after a decade or so away. So uh, just uh, little bits and bobs on that front. But uh, I think, as we said, major issuance is probably done for the year. Mm -hmm. All right, fantastic. Jonathan, we'll uh, wrap it up there, but do appreciate you joining us. Thank you so much. Great. Thanks, Leanne. Let's get back.